everyone, it's Robin. I'm here with Juicy. Um, I'm starting this tutorial with a jelly that I made using the Fuchsia of Art, SE Neon, and I added a few drops to a half a bottle of Wet n Wild Clear Top Coat. And I usually do it when the top coat is getting to be almost down to nothing, and then I make a jelly out of it. So, this is the consistency of this. So so a lot of people ask me, Robin, um, do you like thin polishes or thick polishes? And it really depends on the design. So this one looks like this painted on just a nice sheer lavender and then with another coat it gets a little bit more purpley. Now I'm doing Juicy's nails so they're really long. Juicy. Here we go. And there's, there's two coats on this. Now see how you can see through them and everything? These are her natural nails, and then, you know, there's there's uh, fills and everything going on there. I'm gonna take uh, a dark purple. This one's called, called Babysitter. It's a very dark purple. And although I don't wanna be like super into brands, I just wanted to give you an idea because this is almost black, but it's not, it's purple. I'm just gonna go in and do a French manicure like this. And this is one coat, and I think one coat is perfect. There's some people that will have to do two, but because I have two coats of the other on there, um, then I don't have to do lots on this. I'm gonna go through and um, do a fringe of all different kinds on the bottoms of these, but just kind of meander it around, and I'll meet you back. Okay. Now, I have like a plethora of different pinks and purples all together right here. Um, I'm starting with a dark purple, medium, then I have a pink purple, then I have a regular pink, then I have a neon pink, and it goes lighter, 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 and then it goes to white. So, I'm going in with a uh, dark purple first, and I have my a striping brush available at RobinMosesNailArt.com, and it's called the Unicorn. The striping brush is a called I called it a unicorn because they really are that hard to find a good one. So I'm pushing and pulling down and then pushing and pulling across like so and then let's see I'm gonna push and pull up take more paint go across this go across wait don't they no i don't need that oh, okay. okay let me see it's okay um i'm gonna okay i'm gonna hit this side so touch in and turn the finger and then go in with a few stripes like that okay when it's done it's going to look like this. This is the first coat and I'll meet you back. Okay, so now I'm going in with a thinner pink. Now here we go. This, this, if you can't do this part, then um, I fully understand and you can use a, a thicker color. This is a very thin pink color. I've thinned it down to a, almost a water consistency and I'll show you why. But I'm gonna go in and dab it, dab it, pull it like that. Then I will go through like this and then just go over the top. Like this. Now, these don't have to be perfect. This this layer. This layer is like kind of like an ethereal layer. And um kind of like how the purple is a thin layer to begin with. This is like a thin layer to go on this over the top. And I'll show you. Woo! Okay, so that's how I'm going to do it. When it's done, it goes like this. But do you see how when it dries, it dries almost transparent in some areas? That's what I want. Now, um, it's very difficult to use a striping brush with transparent paint. You have to have extreme brush control. And if you just want to use a medium pink for this layer, you're going to have more pop, less... Uh, 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 levels of dimension. It's just going to be very flat, which is fine. It, it, both are beautiful. It's a, it's a, it's a question of taste. And um, 
and I, I just like the idea of going in with um, sheer stripes and regular stripes at the same time. So I'll do one. Uh, I can't remember which way I did it, do you see? Thank you, My girl. Why you gotta hate? <laughs> okay, that's fine. I got it. Okay, so um, what the heck? Okay, here we go. It goes like this. Boom. Because I have to flip it in my head. Mm -hmm. I'm like, what? I lose it when I'm teaching. When I'm when I'm going without a camera, it's easy. Okay, so there's that. Now I'm gonna go in. Lastly, boom with this with this light pink. Baby, baby pink. My baby pink. And it's really too thick, which is wonderful because we don't want thin on this one. We want regular. It's harder to steer this up on a on a on a uh, striping brush. It, but you can do it if you need to. If you need to turn the brush over, and then mix it like this, and get it nice and juicy like this, and then turn it back over. That's good. That's why I didn't put any color on my striping brushes or any of my brushes. Is so that you can mix it. So then you go back over, fill your brush up, make sure there's no um, bubbles or or pieces of thick in there, and. Um, you want the, the, the paint to go up halfway on your striping brush, just like your liner brush. Okay, so Rain this. Frame. Hmm? Rain frame. Yeah, okay. we're good. So over the top, I'm going to go with the last layer and just kind of bubble in lines over the top. Okay, I'm going to leave that alone, go back in with a liner brush and finish that. Okay. See, I have to know what my limits are with a liner brush, with a striping brush. And I want to do so much turning and swirling with this that I have to go back in with my liner and, and then just fix up all of my imperfections. That. And you see how it almost draws itself for you? That's what I want. Boom. It's just this beautiful, like, lacy, like that. Then I'm going to start mixing um, a chrome silver and wet and wild top coat. And then I'll meet you back. Now remember, I'm not trying to make straight lines. I'm trying to make, like, beautiful like river lines, like rivery lines. So that each design that you do looks unique and like your own. That's what I want for you guys. You don't want your nails looking like everybody else. All right, so there's that. Meet you back. Boop. Okay, so I have some, whoop, move it. Oh, sorry. Gracias. <laughs> okay, so I have some chrome out and um, I am going to use some clear polish and mix me some chrome that's nice and thick and then I will there we go boop, 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 boop. nice and thick okay change brushes to my liner and if you want to use a dotting tool you can or a stylus if you if the, if you don't know the name of it, um, it, I don't know yet. I'm just trying to get some chrome mixed. Okay, so this will be the chrome. Okay, now fill the brush up and let us commence to studying out these nails. Dot, 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 dot. Okay. These are going to be like stones. They're, they're going to look, they're going to catch light like stones, everything like stones. And if you want to do like a few lines here and there, you can. Like. Just a highlight. 
Okay. okay, so lastly, before I top coat, I'm gonna go in with a little bit of, um, of like, what is it? What is it? Unicorn. Uh, it's like an opal iridescent. Yeah, an opal iridescent glitter that's very fine. Um, the chrome. Okay, so just going in to the sides and just kind of like adding. And what it does is reflects out and then it allows you to get dimension and fun. And for all of the girl, uh, all of uh, all of my nail artists that are old school as heck. I want you guys to thumbs up this because doesn't this remind you of the old days of nail art? Not all the way. It has the new twists and everything, but I love it. They didn't have the reflective glitters and all that, but look at that. Isn't that just so pretty? I just want to bite it. <laughs> anyway, okay, so these are highly reflective, so let me get them in a light that is appropriate. Okay. So, let me turn that. I hope you guys can see these, but when you top coat them, they blend together into this like beautiful, like, like swirly layered look. Like and pink what? galaxy, I don't Yeah. Just with the glitter. Mm. I They're like pretty. them. They're so pretty. Look at that. That is just so pretty. And different. And different. Have you guys seen anything like it? Please thumbs up if you haven't, because I know you haven't. Let me try and change the colors. Oh, on. wait, hold on. Okay, help me. But did we, we didn't show them. Show them. Oh, so underneath. <laughs> <laughs> we got so excited about the top, we forgot about the bottom. Well, flip them over, girls, show. <laughs> I don't know if I'm in frame. Um, you're not. Okay. But, okay. So, so underneath I have a, um, a glitter underneath just, just to like make it all like just perfect. You know what I mean? Because the top is all like spirally and underneath is all galaxy. I used um, this this purple glitter stuff by Azature that is just amazingly just thick yeah, and me. luscious. Yeah. So, anyways, so there's that. I have good pictures on my blog. Let me let me let you do it. So you show them because you show them so good, and then you can uh, and I'll adjust the lights. Okay. Okay. Um, I don't know if they're getting the pink. They're they're certainly not. I mean, they're so purple. See? Oh yeah, that one's nice. So right there. The pink starting to yeah break through. You want to see? No, I trust oh. you. So so anyways, um. Oh, you can see the blue. You you can't see the 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 neon of it. That's what I what I can't catch. But yeah, I'll you take, can. look. Oh, okay, good. So so I guess so I'm gonna catch up. You know you know what client. the evil client. You know evil client. She oh. took a picture of her nails outside because I missed and I didn't take it. Uh -oh. And the outside picture looked better than all the pictures I take inside. So I might take one outside of these. Anyways, um, get brushes. RobinMosesNailArt.com. Follow me. Have fun with me. And take your career wherever you want to go using inexpensive materials and practice and patience for all of your hand painted nail art and you will have clients around the building. I turn away how many clients do you see? A million. How many people? I, I think my Attack. waiting list my waiting list is like unlimited. Like I, I, I you can't get in to see me. Like like you just can't. It's too hard. And you guys can be like that. Just keep practicing. I, that's what I want for you. I want to get you guys jobs. I want you to get in the best shops. So those of you guys who know somebody who needs this in their life to help them get to a better place, please spread the word. And I will be back with more. I'll see you later. Bye. Bye. Bye.